Hi fellas, this uh, this picture here is of, as they say, another old white dead man. <laughs> Very influential white dead dead man, as a matter of fact, from the 1600s. Uh, John Locke, spelled L-O-C-K-E, there's loads on the internet about him. He's well known uh, with Voltaire and a couple of others as being the father of liberalism. He was very influential regarding the American Bill of Rights, you know, that every every person has the right to life, freedom and liberty. He um, he, he believed in the, what they call now, what they call the blank canvas um, idea, that all men of all races, wherever they're from, are born basically good, a blank canvas, and they learn most of what, what they how they perceive the world and how they judge the world and people uh, from their own experiences. Just pause for thought. Bear in mind this guy was a, a physician, you say in America, um, your doctor. He, he was in, from Somerset, which is in the bottom left corner of our island, islands. Um, I wonder, regarding this CRT, this critical race theory, um, I wonder what you think about it. <laughs> Bear in mind, he he was pivotal. This man was pivotal in the emancipation movement, in the in making the slave trade illegal and unworkable, in motivating the British Empire and the British Navy to actually stop it, to stop it in its tracks, yeah, especially the, the West uh, Coast um, slave trade. I wonder how he'd feel today with his ideas being basically perverted into Planned Parenthood, NHS and all the other health authorities throughout Europe, m murdering, basically removing, terminating, doing away with uh, well over 100 million unborn, pre-born, fetuses as I like to call it. Don't be blinded by science by the way, this, this medical sounding word fetus, it just means tiny baby in Latin. So when you're talking about aborting a fetus, you are you are aborting a tiny human, a tiny human baby, obviously. Um, I just wonder how how would he view this, C this BS CRT theory be shoving down the throats of all our kids and all our college students? I wonder what he'd think, eh? You know, especially since he was, he and Voltaire and a few others were pivotal in, in establishing the US, you know, he suggested some of the wording, I believe, in some of the US uh, constitution. I wonder what he'd feel about about being called a, you know, <laughs> a racist, misogynist, old white, dead dude. I don't think he'd be too pleased, would he? Especially according to according to the Roe Wade uh, overturning a few months ago, which has already saved about well way over probably about a million and a half babies already. To their credit, good good well done guys, um, the pro life movement and the Christians especially. Um, I wonder how, how he'd feel about uh, millions of his own people from all over, from all, all over England and Scotland and Northern Ireland and Wales, being you know, being terminated, being genocided by false Democrat, false Labour, false liberalism. That's what it is, isn't it? This 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 woke is fake woke. It's asleep not awake woke because just to view everything through the racist goggles as uh, is very flawed as well-known douglas murray the author i'm reading his book at the moment he says uh, like the joy regarding the george george floyd murder uh, there was a murder some years before of a guy called tony timber and he was a really mentally ill schizophrenic us guy and he was murdered with just the same brutality. He had the same knee on the neck. You know, he died. You know, he died on the video, which I'll, I'll try and post if this channel doesn't get tucked down again. Again, um, he, he pleads for mercy and 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 says says he's suffering and and says he can't breathe over th at least thirty times in the video, in the police video, which they didn't release for months. Didn't re release it immediately, like the, the one about George Floyd. Didn't release it for like five or six months to avoid any media firestorm. But there probably wouldn't have been a firestorm then, because, well, do white lives matter? Not as much as black lives these days, obviously. 
there you go guys but uh if i can't put a link with this video uh google it i think he's a sir now uh, obviously after death sir john locke john locke l-o-c-k-e the father of mod modern liberalism he'd be absolutely he'd be vomiting at the thought of what we've been doing to our youngsters for all these decades what 60 years since 1973 he'd be absolutely horrified after he made it his life's work and he appeared in parliament the uk parliament uh, um speaking up for speak, speaking against the slave movement as did queen victoria and a uh, uh, much maligned husband um prince prince albert of uh, um i think he was bavaria an austrian thing austrian guy who actually spoke to, to the first black slave that escaped from louisiana i think escaped the the dogs the bloodhounds from louisiana and um, prince albert in victorian days in the 1880s actually spoke to this guy a few times um, at a big conference in london uh, as they were outlawing and stopping them. queen victoria basically the, the, that put the whole of the Royal Navy into stopping these slave traders. A lot of the times, of course, they weren't white men. They were their fellow Africans, their neighbours, the guys from up the roads, the, gay, the guys that were past Arab. They were the worst ones, apparently. Winston Churchill wrote about it in, the, in his book, River Wars. But I know you guys just regard him. He's just another racist, isn't he? Even though he... Because he told about how generation upon generation of Sudanese black people had been enslaved by a certain group of people, a certain ideology, and their descendants. I'll let you go, guys. But if it gets took off, you can Google it anytime. Um, obviously, it was hardly an oil painting, but you know his heart was there. He's, he's, he had the he had the brains and the intellects to do what you know thousands of others didn't before him. I did Voltaire and a few of us, Frenchman Voltaire. Okay, see you guys, bye bye.